Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, we are all aware that the seven judge bench from the Supreme Court have retreated to a non location to write their verdict, which they will deliver to Kenyans on Monday. So, everyone is anticipating for that verdict. We don't know which way it will go because it has always become hard to predict our judges nowadays. <laughs> but people are sharing out information suggesting otherwise, either but mostly in their favor. Wale wa Azimio wanasema yale nye in our favor. Wale wa Kenya Kwanza, they are busy trying to post things that seemingly suggest on which or in which direction the verdict might go. But again, beside all this, there is propaganda in this situation, which I'm seeing largely being shared by the people from Kenya Kwanza side. They are sharing information which cannot be verified, misleading, just to make sure that maybe they are trying to drive a certain agenda to push things to work in their side. To some extent, even mislead their followers. So there is one of our viewers on this punchline who shared some photos with me and a post that was done by Dennis Tumbi. And I think it is good we go through it. They will also check if what Dennis Tumbi is sharing is true or is lie. But largely, you know, Dennis Tumbi, Nimutu Sazengina Anapenda Kusema Wongo. But again, Sikwingina Nisema, Atakama Anasema Wongo, it is positive. Wongo yenye namanisha vizuri. Really, how? <laughs> so, this is the post that was done by Dennis Tumbi. And this is what Dennis Tumbi said. State House watch. Private cars moved from State House garage. Private staff moved. Life and its movements in less than 48 hours. Hustler Nation. That's what he did. Now, when he posted this, some of the Kenya Kwanza bloggers went further to share images of the truck of which you can see. These trucks are, uh, have stopped at the state house. That means, and you see on the truck they write, moving what? <laughs> moving company. So, if you check on them, you will see that someone want to load and move his item. So, if you check on Dennis Tumbi and that truck, the photos there, there is something you will learn. And you want to check if that is the truth, but before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So, my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and the end of the comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion, guys. Now, the truth of the matter. about that post and if you try to share to, to, to check on the photos of the truck that has been shared you will realize that this post was done in 2013 <laughs> and one of the journalists who shared this photo was Larry Madoyo Larry Mado by that time he was working for was it NTV? And this is what Larry Mado posted. Moving company trucks leaving State House, Nairobi ahead of Uhuru Kenyatta's inauguration. That post was about was posted at a time at 8.56. That is AM 9th 
uh, in uh, that was in um, in 2013 uh, September 4th. Remember, there was a court ruling, which then came to pass, and they upheld it in favor of President Uhuru Kenyatta. That's why it extended to September 4th. Then the immigration came later, because. If the court will upheld the election, it means after one week, then the president-elect normally gets sweared in as the next president. So that means it was Mike Baki leaving the state house ahead of swearing in of William of President Uru Kenyatta to take over the power. So this was just barely uh, one week to swearing in. President Uhuru Kenyatta. So the aim of Dennis Itumbi and the bloggers in Kenya Kwanza are trying to paint a picture of what happened in 2013 as if it's going to be a repeat of 2022. Raila Odinga got to the Supreme Court, he had this evidence, very genuine evidence. But the then Chief Justice dismissed Raila Amon Odinga evidence on ground that he came or he filed his evidence when it was late. I think that was the first time the Supreme Court had powers to even nullify presidential election. There was separate of power independence between the executive, the National Assembly, and the judiciary. So, that time Raila Odinga case never got to be heard and ruled. The CJ by that time, I didn't nullify to your election like that. That's why you see President Uru Kenyatta comfortably sat at the state house. But in 2017, it was different. Raila now filed the petition on time because of what he had gone through in 2013 and the, the petition got to be heard, the ruling was out, which then exposed how rigging happened in this country during that election. Wakati kulikuwa na NASA na Jubilee. Now, in 2022, we are aware Petition was filed on time, but again, there were other petitions which then were allowed even when the time had been closed. Makumbuka DCJ Milu, <laughs> Deputy Chief Justice Milu, he, he, she came out to rule that all those cases should be allowed, filed, and they will look into those issues. That means our Supreme Court. Is growing the maturities there and they have the authority to rule on matter as far as it is against the law. So then it's to be one to just to mislead Kenyans or divert the attention to make it look like the Supreme Court judges are going to rule in favor of William Samuel Ruto. And because of that, President Ordinator will have no choice but to pack and leave. So the issue, you see, that's why he's saying that it is only remaining 48 hours. And actually at the time, we are remaining with, with to get the Supreme Court verdict in the Mundi Mebaki. They will come out to give their ruling. So according to him, and what he wants for his supporters to believe is that the Supreme Court is going to rule in favor of William Samway Root. And who has no option but to leave. But that is not the truth of the matter. This election can be nullified. And if it will be nullified, President Uru Kenyatta will stay in the house for another two good months waiting for the election, 60 days. After election, Kutakwana declaration, you are now the winner. Then after, is it 14 days or 7, they will need to cooperate with Mengine and your Hapo are talking. So Uru is not yet moving. The trucks are not yet at the house. Like in Tunajua, Kulikuwa na Shere State House. Raila and the team will go another supper there just to enjoy after the lawyers had argued their case in a way they feel that they did a good job. 
So that's what we know. We will wait and see the outcome of the Supreme Court. Then from there, we can understand which way forward. Thank you so much to Patana in the next video. But please, you can reach out to me on 0795958063. Ile number ingine ikonashida. This is the only number you can get me quickly on WhatsApp. See you in our next video.